Hello and uh, welcome. But you get to sing the uh, OMG too. Oh my God. You know that uh, Amit Rai is taking over from Umesh Shukla. Umesh had made uh, that tongue-in-cheek look at uh, the leaves. Then he made OMG with uh, Akshay Kumar and uh, Parisha Bhatt. This time, the central character goes to somebody who can shoulder the responsibility that uh, Paresh Ramanet, and that is Pankaj Tripathi. If anything, OBMG2 belongs exclusively to Pankaj Tripathi, the actor. Alongside Navasudi, probably today he's among the greatest actors and uh, has tried his hand at variety of roles, some comics, some series, villainy. And uh, if you watch him here, there are shades of uh, the comic. Poker face of the but brilliant. The film tries hard to sell uh, the idea of uh, need to change your mindset. Right deals with the uh, mindsets kind of feeling somewhere that he's trying to peddle in uh, the new education policy, but not largely because the content of the new education policy is far more, uh, far different from something as liberal as the need for sex education, which is what uh, Oh My God 2 is all about. The central character that justifies this is a little schoolboy. His son, Played by uh, Arush Varma, plays Vivek, who's an adolescent boy in school. He finds the school washroom as a place to masturbate, and then the whole story begins. He's caught on camera by a set of bullies in the school, and uh, he also believes that there is a need to increase the size of his instrument and uh, goes to quacks, to pharmacists, to all kinds of people, magicians. And the whole family is brought to shame because of this. And the dad, Kanti Sharan Mudkar, Pankaj Tripathi, works with uh, Govindam Dev, a pujari of the, the place. And all this is happening at Mahankar, near the door, and uh, very religious Shiva family, uh, Shiva believers. And they're shocked when the whole incident ex is exposed. And nudged by the gods in a cameo, Akshay Kumar, who's played Krishna in the earlier of that and now decides to play Shiva, nudges the party or Mudgal to sue all those who create trauma and suffering for the little boy who is also sent out to school. So there is this long drawn uh, court scene, partly well researched, partly poorly researched. Yami Bhukta comes in as the lawyer for the school. Rest of the class, including a wooden Harun Kovil, are not worth mentioning. A trial goes on till finally uh, the judge decides that uh, not all is fair in our society. Pawan Malhotra plays the role of the judge, does well. What is intriguing is today our cinema is willing to open up and talk about these things. I'll breathe within very, very commercial space. There are one liners galore. There's some fun moments in the film. It gets preachy sometimes. Yami Gupta is stiff to a fault. I thought she was going through the best batch and she could add value to the film. She does not. The 
Philip finally, as I said at the beginning, is a fungus report. Watch it. Because this performance of Pankaj Tripathi is worth watching. It's also, it's for a reasonably good watch. You don't expect too much from the film. Amit Rai believes that uh, the legal system is an answer. And this is quite different to the general cynicism that's growing in our society about the adequacy of the legal system. Be that as it may, I'll debate on that in a larger space at another time. Suffice here to say that OMG2 is not a bad effort, could have been a much better Akshay has a very small cameo and uh, nothing really worth talking about. It's interesting to see a boy like Arush Varma carry out his performance. It's sad to see somebody like Rajendra Kala be wasted. And uh, it's also interesting that the film steers clear from a romantic story. Thank you for that. And yes, I would say, if you're a problem buff who doesn't mind an evening of a reasonably ordinary fellow, not boring, not going to hurt you, go for it. Acknowledgements both to Abhinav and Tattu for uh, helping reach out to all of you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.